Look, if the sacrifice is false, according to my testimony, that's a, then the priesthood is false. So how can you abide in that? Well, the Holy Spirit convicted me. I, he, uh, 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 he can convict you. Uh, see, and then if, if, if once he brings that conviction, then I think it's, it's not difficult to be open to another fellowship that that, that preaches the word. Mm -hmm. And I was I, I would hope. That, that you would be attracted to, because it's all the Holy Spirit. He deals with people differently, but you would be a fellowship that that, that uh, preaches not only the Word, but also does not deny or put down or or compartment or or, uh, or dispensationalize the gifts of the Holy Spirit. <coughs> which means that they passed away, correctly? Excuse me? Which which would mean that they believe that the gifts have passed away. Right, right, that the gifts of the Spirit are not for today. I don't believe that's the Bible doctrine. I think Acts, the book of Acts is as relevant today as it was on the day after Pentecost, or the day of Pentecost. And so the gifts of the Spirit are the gifts of the Spirit that for all believers of all time, and so I would hope the Holy Spirit would would uh, lead you to a church, to a, to a fellowship to emphasize the gifts of the Holy Spirit as well as the rest of the Word of God, because that, that is part of the Word of God. And if there's no, nothing like that within reach of you, then, uh, then a fellowship at least that bases their practice and the doctrine on, on the Word, mm -hmm. but not upon... Uh, doctrines of false sacrifice. Mm, very good. Yeah.